Hi, welcome to the Missouri History Museum's Virtual Learning Day for January 2021. Our theme for this month is St. Louis Stories, Oral Histories, Storytelling, and Lore. My name is Carla, and this video is part of our virtual craft room. Today I'll be showing you how to make a basic pop-up book to tell a St. Louis story. Now there are so many different St. Louis stories to tell, and many ways they've been told over the years. Books, poems, letters, journals, oral histories, and through art and pictures like paintings and photographs. I'm going to use the stories of a few St. Louis photographers from the past, Thomas Easterly, Jesse Tarbox Beals, and the Gerhard sisters, to show you how to create a pop-up book to tell a story. Now you can use my idea, but you can research any one you want or make up your own St. Louis story, maybe using ideas from our January Homeschool Day workshop. You can use photographs, pictures from magazines, or even draw your own pictures. Be as creative as you want. Now I'm gonna show you my sample book and illustrate three different pop-up techniques. Now my story begins with Thomas Easterly. Thomas Easterly was one of the most prominent daguerreotypists in the Midwest in the 1850s. A daguerreotype is a photograph taken by a process using an iodine sensitized silver plate and mercury vapor. Easterly was known for his portraits of local and visiting celebrities, such as Keokuk, chief of the Sauk tribe. He also took the first photos of Plains Indians and the first known photo of a lightning bolt. He also captured city and landscapes over time, such as the destruction of Big Mound in St. Louis, shown here. And here's the original mound there. The St. Louis History Museum has or the, museum, the Missouri History Museum has a large collection of Easterly's daguerreotypes. Now to make these two pages, I simply folded a piece of paper in half and cut slits along the fold, forming one to three tabs. Now you can do this with um, a ruler if you like, but I just eyeball it, and I just draw one out here. But you just cut along the edge like this, and then you have your tabs. Then you're gonna open your sheet up and punch those tabs through like that. And there you have, whoops, there you have your pop-ups. So you can see how I did that on that page right there. I did three there and just one on that page. So you can do as many as you like. Um, I did mine about uh, one and a half to two inches, which I think works the best. So let's go to the next page. I'm gonna turn it this way. The next page tells the story of Jessie Tarbox Beals. She was a photographer in the early 1900s, and she had a very unique style and signature hustle that earned her the job as an official photographer of the 1904 World's Fair that took place in Forest Park. She was known to take risks to get interesting photos, like climbing on ladders and jumping into a hot air balloon, which you can see her on ladders here and on the balloon. So to make this page, I used actually three different techniques. The first was the first one I showed you, but I just turned the page sideways. So if you do like that, let me get this box out again, you will have a box that looks like that. And then I just glued a picture over it. To make it so somewhat three-dimensional, you can just take about a one inch, uh, one and a half inch uh, by one and a half inch paper and fold it into like a W or an M shape. Then glue one end to your page, oops, and one to the back of your picture, and you can see that it's a little bit three-dimensional. Finally, to make the hot air balloon that she is actually climbing into in this page there, I just took the sh kind of a shape of a balloon and made it a little bit wider than I need and folded accordion style. Um, you just wanna make sure that it can span both of your pages, both sides of your page, and that the ends both, both face the same direction. So what you can do then is fold it up like I did. I glued the very edge down, then put glue on the other side, on the other edge, closed it, pressed it down hard, and there I got my hot air balloon pop up. Okay, so the next page, the last page of my book, is about the Gerhard, is the story of the Gerhard sisters. 
Sisters Emmy and Mamie Gerhard were the first women to own a photography studio in St. Louis. They were very well known and very respected for taking portraits. And during the 1904 World's Fair, they photographed people from all over the world who were living and performing at the fair anthropology department exhibits, including Geronimo and this Bedouin girl here who was said to be one of the most beautiful girls in the world. And they also took a photo of poet Sarah Teasdale. Now for this page, I used the same technique as the first two pages, um, making those little boxes. So finally, if you want to add a cover, you can fold another piece of construction paper or a thin cardboard um, from a gift box or cereal box or even a folder to put over your book and punch a couple of holes through it um, and then fasten with string, yarn, or ribbon. You can just glue the pages and cover together as I did here. And then I also glued the inserts of my pages to another background piece so that I have a color background. When you are gluing this though, you just want to make sure you don't glue your tab. So you would just put your glue all around, but not on the tab. Close it. Oops. And then you'll have it stick there. And then you'll just glue your cover pages like that. Here's an example of the cereal boxes that I used as a cover for a nature journal. So now you have some ideas to create your own pop-up pop book. As always, we'd love to see your creations, so please share by tagging us at hashtag MHSLearn. And thank you so much for joining us. Please check the other craft room videos as well as more online learning opportunities that we have on our website. And remember to keep making history. Bye, everyone.